Let's talk about divorce. This is not an easy topic, but it's something that happens. It's not something we plan, but it's something that happens. If you get divorced and there's no children involved, great, fantastic. You go your separate ways, you never see each other again. But that's not the case when there's children involved. So today's topic is how do we get divorced and still raise healthy children? Ah, and that's the challenge. So decide, it's a decision. You decide you don't want to be together. That was a decision, right? But you want to decide that you're going to continue to raise the children together. You either decide that you raise the children together or one of you has total, total control. Perhaps you got divorced because one of you is not healthy. Perhaps there's a drug issue. Perhaps there's a mental health issue. Perhaps there's um, a career issue that's going to take you to the other side of the planet and you won't be there on a daily basis. So maybe one person is parenting all the way. Okay. But let's just say you're parenting together. And even if those cases do exist, if those cases exist, and the children come to you and say, how come this other parent is not in my life anymore? Then you sit down and you explain to them in three sentences why. But you make sure that those three sentences do not include, and they don't love you. Because that's never the case. They weren't able at this point in their life to show up for you, and I'm really sorry, and I know that that hurts. I'm here, and believe me, Time moves on and one day they'll be back. It might be when you're 25, but whenever it is, you guys will recon reconciliate and everything will be in a different way. But for right now, it's just you and me. So here we go, right? No down talking. It does, it does no one any good to put down the other spouse, but it also doesn't do any good to hide the dimensions of the reasons that for the divorce. So when I say dimensions, you don't have to go into the details. Your father was a rotten, stinking, lying, and bum. You don't have to go into anything like that. He just wanted it. Between your father and I, it wasn't going to work. But between you and your father, it's going to work. And as friends, your father and I are working now on being friends so that we can parent you together. It's not easy for us, but it's worth it for us to be together so that when we're together as a family, we can celebrate the joys together. We can celebrate your birthday together. We can celebrate Thanksgiving together, whatever your choices are that you want to do. It becomes very difficult for the children, especially as they grow older, Oh, mom and dad are going to be at the same wedding together. It's going to be so, it's my wedding and I'm going to feel so bad. You want to work towards letting that not be an issue for your child. So how do you do that? I believe in something I invented. <laughs> of course, I believe in it. I invented it called divorce counseling. And it's family counseling for divorced couples that teaches them how are you going to have family rules when you're in different places? How do you have family rules when, is it, are they the same family rules or is it at your father's house, it's his rules, at my house, it's my rules. It's, I'm not saying either one of those is, is right or wrong, but you have to agree on it, right? Are you going to have the same restrictions and the same, um, curfews for your children or are you going to say well when you're at your father's house you don't have a curfew when you're here you do have a curfew or but what it doesn't matter what you do what matters is that you make these decisions together and the children can't then go in between that's very important What's also very important is not to overcompensate for getting divorced. Don't overcompensate by being so, so, so good. I'm the, going to be the best parent in the world. Don't, don't do that. It's impossible to keep up and you'll crash. The only kind of parent you have to be is kind. <laughs> That's it, right? Be kind to your ex. Be kind to your children. Be kind to your ex's family. Be kind to yourself. 
when you're kind, everything else falls into place, right? Now, your, your children are going to test you. Your children are going to bring different things to the plate. And you're allowed to say, I'm going to discuss this with your father. I'll get back to you. That's okay. That's an okay sentence. When you're also, if they come to you and they say, can you please not tell dad this? You're going to say, I'm, I'm teaching you something right now. If, you're, if there's something on the planet that you do, anywhere on the planet, that you don't want me to know about, don't do it, right? Become a good person. Become a good person, whether your father's looking or I'm looking. We both want the same thing for you. We both want you to be a good, honest, responsible, reliable person on the planet. So if it's something you don't want somebody else to find out, don't do it. That's sort of the best way to guide your conscience on this planet. In any case, I guess that's the, the long-winded version of saying there is a way to raise your children together when you're divorced. And I believe you can find it. It's hard to find, but it's worth it for the children's sake. And that's your bubbing pin for today. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, please and share this with your friends. Thank you.